Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is focus on the general problem of calculating uh, masses of, of uh, elements that are found in uh, mass amounts of, of a particular compound. So in this problem, uh, the question that we're being asked is to find uh, the mass of carbon in grams that appears in uh, 10 grams of C6H12O6. All right, and there are two ways to solve a problem like this. And uh, in this video, we're going to utilize both methods. One method focuses on uh, the percent mass uh, composition of carbon in the formula, and the second method focuses on using uh, mole mass relationships. The idea that in one mole of this uh, compound, there are six moles of carbon, and we, we can use that knowledge uh, to calculate the mass of carbon that's in the compound. So what we're going to do first is we're going to use the method that has to do with uh, mass percent composition. All right. And the basic idea of this method is that um, we can determine um, the mass percent, I'm going to abbreviate it this way, the percent mass of carbon um, in, in, in this particular compound um, by determining the total mass of carbon that, that, that is in the compound. So the molar mass of carbon being 12.01. There are six carbons in the particle. And this is divided by um, the molar mass, which I've pre-calculated for the video here. This shows the calculation, how I arrived at it. All right. So the percent mass of C is going to be its molar mass times how many times it appears in a compound divided by its molar mass. And this is equal to 39.99%. Now, we can, we can take this idea and change it just a little bit. And instead of calculating the percent mass composition, we can calculate the decimal percentage, um, which is this same number, um, but not multiplied by 100. And I see that I uh, glitched here a little bit, so this should have been times a hundred. So the decimal percentage is going to equal the same value here. So it's going to be 12.01 times 6 over 180.156. And instead of multiplying by 100, we're going to drop that. And the outcome is going to be 0 0.3999. Now, what this number represents is the fraction of mass of any given mass of the compound. So in other words, in 10 grams of C6H12O6, 40% of that is carbon. So we can use the fractional percentage to actually calculate the value. In other words, to find out how much mass is carbon, we simply have to take 40% uh, of 10 grams. All right? And when we, when we use the word of, that means we're going to multiply. And what we're going to multiply is going to be the fractional percentage. All right? So we're going to take 0 0.399, which is the fractional percent mass. of carbon in any mass amount of the compound. And we're going to multiply that times the amount of mass we've been given, which is 10 grams of C6 H12O6. And uh, we see that what we get is going to be 3.999 grams or four grams of carbon. 
So in 10 grams of C6H12O6, which we, which we just figured out, is comprised of 40% of that 10 grams is carbon. So it should make perfect sense, therefore, that that, that will translate into 4 grams of carbon. So this is method number one. Method number two uses uh, literally uses unit multiplier method to solve the same problem. And which method you use is entirely up to you. It doesn't, it doesn't make any difference. Um, I have a friend who once told me that all, all roads lead to Rome, and um, that's the case here. Either method works. So you should choose the method that you're more comfortable with. Now, in this method, what we're going to do first is we're going to have to get the moles of C6H12O6. So this is a classic mass to mole problem to start with. And we're going to be dividing by the molar mass. So I'm just going to put this simple rubric down here to sort of remind you what we need to do. We've already calculated the molar mass of, of, uh, of C6H12O6. It's 180. So we're going to be dividing by 180.156 and put my grams in there and put my molesy in the top. All right, and when I run this calculation, so we're dividing 10 grams of the compound by 180.156, we get um, 0 0.0. 0555, and that's moles C6 H12O6. Now, what we need to do next is get the moles of C6H12O6 in terms of carbon. Because right now, this is basically, once we're in moles, we're essentially in particles. And right now, we're in particles of this compound and but what we're trying to find is the mass of this all right and so we need the moles of the compound converted into terms we need to put it in terms of carbon so we recognize that there are six moles of carbon I'm gonna write that down here we have six mole of C in one mole of C6H12O6. So we're going to use this as a ratio. So we're going to have 6 mole of carbon for every 1 mole of C6H12O6. And this is going to equal 0 0.333 mole of carbon. So now what we've managed to accomplish here is we've gotten our 10 grams of C6H12O6 now in terms of, of carbon. How many moles of carbon are actually in 10 grams of the compound. So I'm going to drop this down. We have 0.333 mole of carbon. Now, the next calculation is a mole to mass calculation. And we need to multiply by the molar mass in order to solve this part of the problem. So the molar mass of carbon is 12.01 grams of C for every mole. And this equals 3.999 grams of C. Big surprise, all right? It should equal the other number. So there it is, 4 grams of C. So either method gets you home. Which method you use? amounts to which one you think you're more comfortable with.